okay guys I this is <laughs> this is super awkward for me and I'm learning to let go of my own insecurities and this is all part of this awakening process um, but I wanted to bring forth a message um, to help people better understand what is happening within the world around us and to understand how to really best navigate the trajectory of the shift that we are going through right now. Um, so I want to start a little bit, I guess, by talking more about energy and alignment and the manifestation and attraction of experiences that we draw into our lives and what that might potentially look like for different individuals. And so, you know, I make a lot of videos about, about the energetic grids of experiences that we navigate through um, during our physical incarnations in order for our soul to experience more and to enter greater states of growth. And as we come into greater states of awareness around these ideas and really begin to integrate them into our daily lives, as we learn how to really integrate the spiritual aspects into our way of being. When we look at the world around us and we see disarray and disharmony, it is a result of the lack of spiritual integration or wholeness really that has been allowed to permeate the realms that we have lived in and that's just due to the density so first I want to start by saying if you're with me if you are receiving these messages that we are in energetic harmonic alignment that you are on this trajectory of this shift into a new harmonic frequency we literally are leaving behind a timeline and beginning to create a new which is going to look like a lot of from different perspectives and states of perceptual awareness it's going to look like a lot of destruction and from another state of awareness it's going to look like a lot of clearing in order to rebirth and begin to build new ways of being as we work on changing ourselves which which is the paradigm shift that we are moving planetarily into as we collectively do the inner work and so if you're receiving these messages you are part of this shift and this trajectory that is asking you to come into greater vibrational alignment within your mental spiritual and physical aspects so that you can be a more whole and balanced person and so that you can work to help bring about a more whole and balanced world and I want to talk about the giftings that come with these shifts uh, it's it's amazing I don't even you know I started going I started personally going through this shift myself um, Really, when I, I left a long-term relationship, a marriage, a union, that wasn't serving me. It was, I was the embodiment of this way of doing relationships where I very much depleted my own energy into pleasing others or to creating this facade within my own being that was really meant to appease others and to present myself in a way that, you know, was in line with societal standards and expectations that had been built up around me that I had allowed to really permeate and govern the space of my own mind. Um, and so when I decided and when I took action to relieve myself of needing to stay in that mindset 
of needing to stay in this place where I was depleting myself energetically, I was, I was definitely tested over and over again after making that decision with this, you know, receiving of more of the same until I was really, really able to recognize that I was in a karmic loop and in this pattern where I had to learn how to shed those aspects of myself that continually gave my own energy away. Uh, Because though I thought I was really impactful and effective in that way of being, I have learned otherwise that I am much more impactful, effective, and happy, and feeling harmonious and complete without needing any of that other kind of stuff to fulfill me, right? Like it's all inside of you. And that is the trajectory of the shift is learning how to come in to the realization of yourself and the beauty of your own aspects on a mental, a physical, and a spiritual level. And when you can learn how to braid the three of those together in these harmonic and balanced ways, you unlocked giftings that exist inside of you. And so I'm, you know, I'm, I've been very apprehensive to share this information, but also I'm very excited to share this information because I think it'll be a really powerful catalyzer for people who are curious and willing and ready to, you know, even if it's just dipping your toes in the water and starting slowly into changing the way that you think and to challenging the perceptions that you hold about certain things. Those are the pathways that are going to lead to the crumbling of the walls of the indoctrination of the programming and conditioning around your mind. And it takes time and you don't have to rush yourself. You can step into this with ease and allow a journey, a magical journey to really begin to unfold for you. And so some of the giftings that I have come into as I have shed the indoctrination and programming over my own mind are, I mean, they're really amazing. I I lucid dream in a way that feels like I am really kind of living in two separate realities and almost where when I come into, you know, this reality feels more like a dream sometimes than the actual dream states and that I am able to pull like loose the lucid dreaming and I pull those memories from the dreams that are messages for me to bring forth in my daily life so that I can really know and understand my own inner guidance and use those messages from my dream state to tackle additional lessons that are presenting themselves in my life. Um, Not only that, I have honed and really developed a powerful ability to communicate with the plant and animal kingdom. I can connect with dogs and birds in a way that is just so powerful. It is pure telepathic connection. I can intuit stories from interactions with trees and with herbs and with birds. Um, I can take a walk down the road and have learned how to manipulate the energy within my own clear audience and I can open up this energetic space around my eardrums and I can be walking down the road and turn down the sound of vehicles driving by and I can turn up the sound of birds chirping in the forest. It's it's wild. It sounds insane. But it's real, like, and I don't even care, I don't, I don't give two fucks what anyone thinks, um, because I am experiencing a magical journey of pure connection with the world around me, and this connection has really bled out into my relationships with people that are meant to be in my experience, and so the relationships that I am really able to 
focus on and hold in my heart center are deeply satisfying and deeply fulfilling and has brought me into the state of really being able to know what love really feels like and what reciprocated love really feels like. It is an amazing journey of self-discovery and stepping into your own personal power and into your own birthright to be able to walk a journey during your physical incarnation that is filled with magic and wonder. So I just hope this testimony, whatever, can give you a little bit of, I guess, more clarity about what this journey is leading to. So many are stuck in the third dimensional perceptual awareness of war and division and separation, where at the same time, all those things are occurring from those lower and limited states of beliefs, the other end of those beliefs from higher states of awareness is showing us a purge that is necessary in order for us to begin to create a new world from higher states of heart-centered being and from states where individuals are able to emit and project love from inside of their own vessels because they have really learned how to cultivate those states of love for themselves in a way that makes it profoundly impactful when they share that love and light in the world around them. My name is Misty Dawn. I am a creative, intuitive, and indigenous energy healer, and I hope this message helps. If this type of content appeals to you, please join me as we navigate creation consciousness and the building anew within these new earth energies. Sending you many blessings and perfect love.